The attack of the bags. <laughs> It's Monica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a video that all my bag lovers have been waiting for and it is my 2022 mid-year luxury handbag review or not, not necessarily the re review, more of a collection because you guys know I do more of the reviews and the breaking down the bag series. If you have not checked out that series on my channel, make sure you check it out. Every month I pick a bag, something from my collection, and we break it down. Um, the pros, the cons, the life, why I love the bag, what I recommend the bag, what I, all of that good stuff in that in that series. Um, and also when I unbox the bags, I try to go over it more in detail. But um, this will be like, I think the second year of doing this. Well, this is the second year on the channel, so I guess I've been doing it since. But, you know, my one of my highest viewed videos was my bag review um, and you guys like them so of course I decided that I will do two bag reviews every year one mid-year and then one at the end of the year um, I have accumulated quite a few bags as you guys know since you've been rocking with me and I'm going to share 25 bags um, kind of my favorites the ones that I'm using the most um, all the new ones uh, I'm gonna share what I love about the bags, would I buy the bags again, um, some of the features. I want to make it short. The last bag review was like an hour and like a half or 50 minutes. It was stupid long, but you guys still watched it, but I want to make this one a little shorter. So I'm only going to share 25 bags that I absolutely love. I might give an honorary shout out to some of the bags that kind of didn't make the cut this time around towards the end of the video. So make sure you watch everything. But yes, let's jump into this video. But before we do that, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I know I went on a long rat. Hey, what's up? I'm Monica and I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of Atlanta. And if you love fashion, fashion and more fashion, Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> I have to catch my breath. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Um, I do do a lot of luxury bags and all that fun stuff, but the the main point of this channel is really to share style tips, my style inspo, um, style inspiration, all that fun stuff. But in addition to that, I do share my vlogs, which are pretty, I've, I've been told they're pretty cool. So, you know, and it's really more so just following my day as a fashion and lifestyle content creator, traveling, hanging out with girlfriends, my cool support system that I have that I always tell people, make sure you have people in your corner regardless of what profession, but you kind of like, you know, I share a little bit of that. Um, and I do also share home decor. I'm kind of obsessed with home decor. Maybe not as much as fashion, but I'm, I'm obsessed. Um, so I do share little tips and things and you know, that I've changed around the house. So if you kind of have that modern, you know, contemporary kind of vibe in terms of home decor, then you'll you'll check that out. You'll love it too. So, anywho, if you like my vibe, basically, subscribe. All right, now let's get into the video. I know I didn't give my Instagram a shout out, but yeah, follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I do share all these unboxings and everything there first, plus some of the shopping experiences. So, make sure you check me out. It's Odd by Monty on both platforms. Now, let's get into the video. Oh, I just realized that I did not share my outfit of the day with you guys because the outfit's pretty cool. So I'm gonna share it with you real quick. Um, I'm wearing this shirt, it's from Lioness. It's actually pretty inexpensive. Hopefully they still have it. The shirt is meant to like crisscross, but I kind of wanted to do something different. I like doing, you know, giving things a little bit of a style twist. So I kind of like took crisscross the, uh, the straps, crisscross the back, and then just, you know, did little bows, let it hang. And then these pants, I'm absolutely obsessed with them. Oh, another thing I did with the shirt, I did not button it. I just wanted to leave it open. That way you can get little hints of my um, arm candy. And it just gives it a more relaxed kind of vibe, which I'm kind of going for. And then also we've got these amazing pants. They are Zimmerman. I love them. They're super long. 
I was originally going to wear them with my Valent no, um, Versace platforms. You, probably, you can't see that in the view. I was going to wear them with my Versace platforms. The platforms are actually too long. Um, so I'm just wearing them with a pair of Manolo Blahnik mules. And yeah, I love it. I will do like the one over so you guys can see the full look. And then the glasses are Jacques Marimage. I know people always ask me about my glasses. They are prescription glasses. They were sunglasses from the brand. I picked them up in Malibu. Um, when I was there for work and I put my prescription in them um, and I love them. The thing about this brand, they only make maybe a 500 of each style or whatever. So I've looked high and low. I've shared when I found them in black. I've never seen them in this um, clear, I can't remember the name off the top of my head right, right now, but I've never seen them in this exact pair, um, even has sunglasses or anything else. But you know, like I said, they only make a certain amount of each pair of glasses. So. They're pretty almost impossible unless the brand redoes them or something. I don't know. But anyway, now let's get into the video. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to go over all the things that I love about the bag. Um, would I buy it again? Some of the fun features. Why the bag is special to me and all that good stuff. We've got 24 bags, so I'm going to try and go as fast as possible. Hopefully, I don't miss anything. If you have any questions, you guys know, just leave it a comment. I will get back to you. But um, I wanted to make it alphabetical, but... I'm kind of all over the place. It's kind of alphabetical, but not. But we're going to start with Bottega. Um, it's going to be Bottega. I'm reading my... I have cheat notes, so I don't forget anything and I don't go off on tangents. We've got Bottega, Brandon Blackwood, Chanel, Dior, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Uh, what else do we have? Valentino and then Fendi. I thought I had more Chanel bags, but I have more Fendi bags, which... If you guys have been following me, you know I kind of am obsessed with Fendi. But yes, anywho, we're going to start with Bottega. First up, we got this bad boy. I'm going to bring her real close so you guys can see. This is the Structure Jody bag. I love it. Okay, so I saw this bag in Toronto. I wasn't like looking for the bag. I always find that for me, I know a lot of people have wish lists and do all of that stuff. Um, but for me, that doesn't work because I'm one of those people that I move by emotions more so what I see other people buying. So if I'm in a store and I see something that I just fall in love with, I usually try and get it. Um, I'm also, because I work luxury retail for so long, I kind of program myself where I don't say yes to everything. I know to, to the average person who watches my videos, you might think that I say yes to like every bag I come across, but I really don't. Um, especially because I'm around so much of it. I really feel like I need to be moved and I need to consider what I have in my wardrobe. Will it work? all that good stuff so this was a bag that I saw in Toronto um, last December it was not on my wish list I already did my bag review and then I saw this and it was the color because I was on the hunt for the Jody uh, or any Bottega bag in this Bottega green because I got a pair I got the flash boots with the green and pretty much sold out everywhere in Atlanta so I saw this in Toronto the workmanship it was the workmanship for me the structure of this bag is just immaculate and in that intratecto leather I hope I said it right <laughs> but the leather the finish like I am one of those people that I will go for detail fabric leather all of that those details are kind of what grabbed me and this was just everything the, the green phenomenal opening is just like the the other Jody which I'll show you because I have the other Jody as well it actually takes a lot more than it looks like it would take um, it is not necessarily easy to get into, um, but you know, once you get the zipper open, there's tons of space in there. It actually takes a lot more than I thought it would. There is no lining in the bag, and I think that helps with um, the weight of the bag. So it's pretty lightweight, and to get a bag like this structured, the fact that you've got this intra, intra, interlocked leather detail is kind of what Bottega is known for, and that is kind of why this is such a great bag, and it just looks amazing as a structured bag. It is a, I think it's like double the price of the Jody, but in my opinion, it's just a piece of art. Like, I love this. I did a little TikTok video like, this is a work of art. I think I did like a few of my bags because you'll see kind of like a trend in terms of how I pick. But I love this bag. Easy to carry. You can wear it that way. You can wear it as a top handle. It's just a fun bag. Would I buy it again? 100%. Love, love, love. On to the next. Okay, so the next bag is the mini cassette. Also in that Bottega green that we love. I actually bought this bag first before getting the Structure Jody. If I had gotten the Structure Jody, I probably wouldn't have gotten this bag. But I do really love this bag. I recently styled this bag with for a collaboration that I did with um, Bloomingdale. So it is just a really fun bag. It doesn't take much. Basically, your cards. Um, and that's probably about it. <laughs> but it's just one of those fun bags. And has, you know, if you're new, 
you'll see that I'm all over the place in terms of bag sizes. I'm not, you know, I'm not like that person that, oh my God, I can't fit anything inside of it. I won't buy it. I'm like, no. For me, I buy bags for fashion. And then I also do believe that you can carry more than one bag. So if I'm carrying this bag and I need more stuff, I'm going to carry a second bag. So this one is just really fun. I, I did get the bigger cassette bag um, prior. I had to return it because I just did not like the workmanship. And Bottega is known for their workmanship. I, I think I just got a random bag that just wasn't done properly. But this one is done very well. Like I said, not a lot of space. You've got a little slip pocket on the inside. The magnetic closure. You've got the leather panel detail. The leather's great. I don't pamper this bag. I put the straps in and I just leave it on the counter uh, on my own shelf. But when I do carry it, I love it. It's fun. It's very lightweight. Also does not have any lining. Would I buy it again? I don't know. I don't think so. Only because I bought this because I, I wanted this green. <laughs> I think I was creating an outfit for Fashion Week or something. And I just really wanted the, a bag to go with the boots. And that's why I bought it. But I do I use it? Yes. Absolutely use it. I love it. I don't know if I would buy it again. On to the next. Next, we have the Jody in um, this beautiful beige leather. I bought this before they changed the silhouette of the Jody. There's a slight change. So the way this kind of goes out on the sides, now it's a bit more curved. But I kind of like this one better. I feel like it sits perfectly on its own. I love the color. I love the leather. I've used this bag quite a lot. It's just so easy. You can just put it over your shoulder. It's pretty chic. It elevates your outfit. At the same time, you can kind of hold it as a top handle, just like the structure Jody. Getting in and out. Um, now that I've used this bag a lot more, it's a lot easier. In the beginning, it was not. You'll find that the zipper is a little stiff. But I feel like that's always better. You don't want a zipper that's too loose that can just open on its own. So this one's a bit more stiff, and I feel like that's a good security feature. Feature. this bag is lined on the inside so <laughs> that's my alarm I have a meeting with my agent <laughs> um, but I'm gonna finish this real quick Alexa stop thank you Alexa sorry about that but anywho as I was saying I love the bag lightweight easy to carry I know some people don't love the Jody some do I personally love the Jody bag would I get it in another color absolutely very easy to carry it actually fits a lot it fits pretty much everything you need I can get my vlogging camera my wallet I have a small wallet my sunglasses everything I use a lipstick a lip gloss will fit in here and I'm carrying it this way so it's like I'm not even carrying it's so easy I would 100% like I said 100% buy this in another color and it's wearing exceptionally well. The leather is everything. Bottega is known for their leather. I feel like you can never go wrong with the Bottega bag. Um, you just have to find that silhouette that suits you best. Bottega has been around for many, many years before it was an it brand, and they were always known for their quality in terms of their bags and their Infratecto pattern design, which I'm just a fan of. I love the brand. Um, I'm sure I will continue to collect Bottega bags. And yeah, one of my favorites. It just looks good with everything. <laughs> On to the next. Okay, next up we have this Brandon Blackwood Mini Kendrick Trunk. I love this bag. It is such a gorgeous bag. It is in the color of the year, which is very peri and that beautiful lilac color. Extremely well made, very affordable, and it is a black owned designer. Um, I love this bag. I love the workmanship. Gorgeous bag, very well made, great price point. It does come with a sh longer strap, which I love. It's in this beautiful calf hair. Um, it's a true little trunk, so, you know, and it's a small bag. There is actually a good amount of space in the bag, so you can actually put a lot of stuff in there. Um, it's just a really fun bag for me, and I love it. I love that I have it. Would I buy another one? Absolutely, especially at the price point. I'm actually looking to get, get it in more colors, so just a fun little bag. Love the silver hardware. Love the feet on the bottom. Great little piece. Looks good with pretty much everything. Lilac is actually a lot more versatile than you think. Like even against this pink and white, it looks really good. And I'm here for it. Love the bag. On to the next. Next up, we have this beauty, this Chanel 19. This is one of my newer bags and I'm obsessed with it. I actually sold my black and white um, Chanel 19 in a medium tweed so I could get this to justify getting this. Um, once upon a time, a few weeks ago, I had this rule where I was only supposed to do two bags per quarter and yeah, that kind of went out the window a long time ago. But not only did, was I trying to like adhere to the court, court, two bag per quarter rule, which I kind of didn't. So that was one of the reasons why I know I can't add this, but I also had no space. So I was like, if I'm going to add new bags, I got to get rid of. So 
after seeing this, someone I was in the I was just walking through the Chanel store and someone was buying it. They're they're all unique. They're all one of a kind. And I saw this and I kind of shared the story with you guys already. And I was just like, I, I have to have it. Like I will get rid of something else to make room for this. So I got rid of the medium one. And I love this one. It's in a beautiful lambskin. And then you've got the fabric. Um, like I said, no two are alike. I think I said that already. I did say that already. No two bags are alike because they position the fabric, the silk um, Chanel CC fabric thing going on in different places. So like the, per the one that I saw, I think there was more red in the front and more green. So mine has a little bit more beige and then a little bit of red and green. And you've got pink and blue. And it's just a beautiful bag. Really well made. Very interesting. Like I said, I like bags that are interesting, that have detail. And then this one is just that. So this is just your regular 19 size. I love the bag. One of my absolute favorites. Have I worn this bag yet? No, because it's still very new. However, it's not the newest bag. I did get one other bag, which I shared in another um, Breaking Down the Bag video, which I'll share with you guys in a second. But... Um, I can't wait to start wearing, rocking this one. Like, I'm obsessed with it. It's such a great bag. Actually, you know, I should wear it with this outfit when I go out later on today. I might just do that. It's stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Like, it's so well made, and the details are everything. Like, this is just gorgeous. And that's why I had to have it. On to the next. Okay, so the next bag is another Chanel 19 in the same size. This is the yellow tweed. This was another bag that I literally just, you know, stumbled across. My essay did not, you know, say, oh, you need this bag. My Chanel essay didn't say you need this bag because I shop at Saks. Um, nobody told me that I needed this bag. My eyes just kind of like hit it and I was just like, I had to have it. And this was not last year, not this year. So this is an older bag. I love the bag. I did the breakdown of this bag in my breaking down the bag of the Chanel 19s where I went over all the sizes, the fabrics and all that good stuff. Um, so I'm not going to do a full breakdown or anything with this bag. I, I would say watch that bag after you finish watching this. I said watch that bag. <laughs> watch that video after you finish watching this so you can kind of, you know, see why I love the bag. But it's just, it was the color for me really. Because I originally bought the black and white one, then I got this one. And they already had a price increase right after I bought the black and white one because this one was probably even more expensive than the black and white and was bigger. Anywho, Chanel and their increases. Beautiful bag, love the tweed. Um, I think I felt like I made the mistake of traveling with it and just not putting it in stuster and I feel like it started getting a little dirty after that. But for the most part, it's been wearing really good considering tweed doesn't really wear as well because it's fabric. But it's, it's a beautiful bag. I, I just love the color. I'm a huge fan of yellow. It's my happy color. And I love this bag. Would I buy it again? Um, I think so. I think I would. I don't know. Like, honestly, I'm kind of like on, on the I don't know. But I think I would because I truly love the bag. And it is extremely versatile. Um, because of it's got like beige and cream and the yellows kind of running through. I find that I can wear this with so much. So actually, I would buy it again. On to the next. Next, we've got this little Chanel wristlet. This I picked up in New York. I love this bag. Like, I hope you guys can see the detail. But you guys would have seen this bag in my hauls. I've styled this bag so many different ways. You know what? I don't think I've ever taken this bag. Have I taken this bag out? I don't know if I have. I think I've only used this for like hauls and stuff. But um, now that we're going out more, I will definitely start carrying it more because it's an absolutely stunning bag. Like, no, I have taken this bag out. I, I wore it in New York. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a great bag. I love bags that house more than one color it just makes the bag so much more versatile and it really extends my cost per wear because i can wear this bag with lilac i can wear this bag with blue with green like i can do so much with it with pink and it's just gorgeous like it looks great against these blush pink pants you know but at the same time i can do it with so much and it's great having this considering i've got those lilac um platforms from versace and, you know, you don't always have to match, but I kind of like it. I like little details to kind of bring an outfit together. I just feel like it's the chef's kiss of an outfit. Um, and I love this bag. It's in lambskin, or if I'm correct, it's calfskin. You've got the Chanel handle here, which I love. I love that detail. It's like arm candy. It just looks really good with my arm candy on either side. So if I'm wearing it with my Cartier stuff, or if I'm wearing it with, like, you know, my watch and everything else, like, it's just, it adds right and then you can just hold it as a clutch or you know just let it hang like the wristlet um i i just think it's an absolutely stunning bag it's fully leather no nope, not fully leather lined but it's lined on the top and then it's got like a, a satin finish on the inside with a slit pocket and it's just a beautiful bag like this was another thing that like i said i really don't have a wish list because i i feel like when i see something 
And this was one of those things when I was in New York, I saw it and I was just like, I need it. Like, I need it. I didn't even have space in my luggage because I was coming back from Finland. I was, I was in Finland for a media trip. Um, their tourism board invited me and I was in Finland. I shared that vlog with you guys. And on the way back, I stopped over in New York to hang out with my girlfriend Coco for a little bit. And we went to Saks and I just, I saw it there and I was just like, how do you not buy it? Like, how do you not say yes? And it's a great bag. I love it. It's such a t classic piece and it's so easy to carry. Does your phone fit in this? I don't know if I ever did like a haul or something. I'm going to check real quick. I don't think I did anything about this bag, to be honest. So let me check real quick. Um, this is an iPhone 13 Max Pro thingy. It does not fit. But I do have a second phone. I wish, I think that will fit. One moment, please. So this is just like the... <laughs> I had to make sure my lighting was right. So this is just like the regular iPhone size. And that fits, right? So that fits perfectly inside there and I still have space for my wallet a lipstick so considering it's a small bag it actually takes a good amount of stuff so <laughs> I think I was gonna say no that or something it's a great bag I love it on to the next you know because Chanel does all these in my opinion ridiculously outrageous price increases I've kind of been like, you know, I, I, I don't have time for Chanel. Like my first, and I say this story every time, but my first Chanel classic, which is up there, which I'm not mentioning in this video because I feel like I've talked about it so many times. When I originally got it, it was $27.50 Canadian. That bag is now $10,750 Canadian. And it does not make any sense whatsoever. Um, so, you know, in my head, I was just like, well, you know, I don't need any Chanel bags anymore. I'm good because I, I, I have a few. But this year, I've added, well, at least in less than a year, I've added quite a few. Not the classics because I'm not paying that money. But when you come across pieces like this, like, how do you say no? Another thing, that's why I say I be wary about this wish list business because then it stops you from getting what you really need. If I had a wish list, I probably wouldn't buy this. But like, who would say no to this bag? Like the color, it's the it was the color. It was another one of those situations where I was minding my business, trying to find help a friend pick up a bag, and I just turned my head and this was right there on the shelf. And now how do you say no? I don't have a blue, well, I have a blue bag, but not a blue bag in this color. So it was a no brainer for me. It's in caviar and that calf, um, cow high, which is super durable. I love anything in a pebble grain. I just feel like it wears better. My first Chanel bag is also in pebble grain and it looks immaculate. Mind you, the quality of Chanel back then and now very different. But honestly, I was just very impressed with this bag. It is extremely well made. Um, the price point, in my opinion, was pretty fair. I think it was right about um, 5000 which we all know for Chanel right now that's kind of on the lower end because everything is astronomical but it's a great bag like it comes in black um, I think it comes in pink as well but I just I was a fan of this blue like I am obsessed with this blue and this is one of the major colors of the season every brand is creating something in this blue and obviously Chanel you know is doing something as well um, absolutely fabulous bag i've worn it a ton i've traveled with it i've worn it with outfits i've gone shopping with it it is extremely versatile i could wear this to dinner i love this handle detail like can we just have a moment for that like i think that was the thing that just was like i had to have it you've got a slip pocket at the back you've got a slip pocket in the front and two separate components on both sides funny enough even though the bag is a good size and the compartments are Reason, reasonable in terms of their size I find that it doesn't take as much maybe because of the way the bag is structured in my head I feel like oh it should be able to take a lot but um, it actually doesn't take that much I think I could fit my phone I can fit my phone on one side and if it's I think I, I, I was pausing to think because I was like it doesn't take that much it does take a, a good amount of stuff but I think because it has all these components in my head it should take more but like, as you can see, my phone fits in there with a plenty of space to spare. My keys, would I put them up together? No, because then mm, I guess it fits. It still fits. I just don't want to, I think I'm pampering this bag a little bit. And you guys know I normally don't pamper my bags, but I just feel like it's so pretty and I love it so much. And the color is so delicate that I don't want to squish it with anything. <laughs> I think I'll get over it eventually because 
normally that's how I am with my bags in the beginning. I'm like, oh, it's, you know, I need to take good care of it. And then like after a, a couple of wears, I'm just like, ah, whatever. But yeah, I don't know. Something about this bag just makes me want to pamper it. <laughs> Maybe it's the color, but it's a beautiful bag. My wallet fits on this side, still a good amount of space left. And then my phone on the other side. Um, I just don't feel the need to stuff it with a whole bunch of stuff because, you know, we want the bag to last. The bag is also lined in lambskin, so it's in a softer, smoother leather on the on the inside. So maybe that's probably why. I, I try to be very mindful of my bags and in terms of what kind of material it's made of. So I, I try to be mindful in that sense because I don't I want them to wear well and I want to be able to use them at the same time without pampering a bag. So you know. But this is a beautiful bag. I love, love, love it. You've got all these fun details. You've got the strap. The strap is not removable, so it stays on the bag. Um, you can wear it has a crossbody, a shoulder strap, or a top handle, and I love it. Love it. <laughs> On to the next. All right, so the next one is the last classic I picked up. This beautiful lambskin mini. Is this the mini or small? I can't remember. Oh, I got a pen mark. I got a little pen mark on it. Anywho, I've, like I said, I use my bags. I pamper them for a little bit, and then I might I just go off and use it. But this one's a beauty. Um, this was one of those things where I came across it again by Fluke. Um, I think someone was buying it and, um, there was like three in the store and, you know, everything was spoken for, but they got one for me, literally like we unraveled it together. Um, and it's just, it's a stunning bag. This was before like they really started doing ridiculous price increases. So I'm happy I got this. Lambskin is always tricky for me because I just, I know how lambskin wears. It just does not wear as well. It is more of a delicate piece. You're spending the money because it's, you know, it's more luxurious. It's a little bit more fragile in terms of the leather itself, but it's just, a, it's all around a beautiful bag. You can't go wrong with it. And the shade of pink was kind of what really, you know, drew me in. Um, you can't go wrong with the Chanel Classic. It always increases in value, even with that slight ink, whatever situation, which you can barely see, but I can see it just because I'm fanatic to detail. But even with that, I'm sure I could sell this bag for every penny that I bought it for and some. So Chanel's are always a good investment, in my opinion. You really can't go wrong with them, especially when you have unique pieces and unique colors like this. So I love this bag. Would I buy it again um, at the same price that I bought it? Absolutely. But with a price increase, hell no. On to the next. All right, so next we've got this beauty, my Lady Dior. She's so pretty. <laughs> um, I'm a huge fan of the Lady Dior. Oh, funny enough, of course I still have stickers on it. <laughs> um, yes, I've always wanted a Lady Dior, but for some reason, I just never picked one up until recently. Um, oh, I think, I, oh yes, I got it around this time last year. I got it for my birthday last year. Um, and the Lady Dior is just a classic. I love the Lady Dior. It's one of those things that I feel like, one of those bags rather that I feel like you'll just always have and it'll just always be on trend. It just really depends on what color you get the bag and Oh, I forgot I have one of these things in there. Ah, okay. <laughs> Anywho, I love the bag. Great pick. Um, I also got this particular one with my initials on it. So I've got awe on it for Odd by Monica. And I just love the thicker strap. I love the shade of red. I originally got it in a red patent leather. Um, it had more of a, hmm, I would say a very sharp blue undertone. And you know, um, Randy, who is my essay at the Saks, I'm um, sorry, not Saks, but at, um, at the Dior store, uh, at the shops of Buckhead. And he was just like, no, that, that, that particular color just aged me and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, I kind of, and I kind of agreed because I was finding it hard to even style it or to think of what to, and that's usually comes natural for me. Like, okay, I'm going to wear this with this, this, and this. So when he showed me this shade of red, I was like, yes, this is it. This is it. I thought I wanted patent leather until I saw this one. I'm still a huge fan of patent leather. I just love leather that has texture in general. Um, but just with the finish on this just makes it special right so it's just a great bag i love the shade great dinner bag great day bag i love wearing it has a crossbody i love wearing it has a top handle it's just very chic has a top handle also one of those bags that looks great with everything even with this great you know mind you my elf is kind of neutral so i feel like everything will look good but pink and red always look good together i have my pink and red pieces stored together on my shelf but you've got your feet you've got your handles you have the option of putting your initials on i know up to three charms are free and then you have to pay for the rest. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong with the Lady Dior. I think the next Dior bag I will add, maybe 
next year or later on because I, I need to cut myself off from buying bags. Might be the Lady Dior in the East West or the Micro. Maybe when I go to Paris, I'll get the Micro. So, but yeah, love my Lady Dior. On to the next. All right, next up, we've got the Dior Bobby. Funny enough, I was going to sell this bag and I'm kind of happy I did it because right after I put it out there when I was selling the... I sold my Chanel 19 and then I sold a Loewe bag and I sold some Tory Burch bags and I sold a Dior saddle bag. And then I was like, well, maybe I should sell the Bobby. I'm so happy I didn't because, you know, after I decided not to sell it, I took it out and, you know, got tons of comments, uh, compliments rather, I said comments, tons of compliments. And it's just a really cool bag. I probably would just get another white bag um, as opposed to selling this bag because it's so different and it's just one of those fun, versatile bags that I really love. But at the same time, you can easily dress it up. And I actually like carrying it kind of like this, almost like a clutch and just letting the strap hang. I also have two more Dior straps, so I'm like, I can always mix and match it to just kind of give it a different look. But yeah, I love the Bobby. It's just one of those bags that I saw before it came out and I knew I wanted it. I have nothing in the silhouette. I used to have a Chloe in the silhouette and I got rid of it. And I'm, I'm happy I kept it. I really am happy that I kept it. It's just a great bag. It wears very well. I've had it for a few years now. And even if you get makeup on it, you just use a damp cloth to kind of wipe it off. And it just holds itself, it holds its shape. It wears really well. It's in that box cap so it's nice and smooth very spacious so this is a great everyday bag the opening is not so wide almost similar to the saddle bag but you can still get a lot in there easily like my phone my wallet a lot gets in there even my vlogging camera you know you have the suede finish so i try to be more, more mindful with what goes inside of a suede finish but i use the bag quite a lot and you know i you know and it, it wears pretty good so very happy with the dior bobby love it on to the next Next, we have the newest addition to my collection, this gorgeous Dior Book Tote. I just did a breakdown of the Dior Book Tote in my Breaking Down the Bag series, and I have to say I'm obsessed with this bag. Um, I've only had it for maybe a little over a week, and I've probably carried it every day, like every day. It goes so well with everything. This is why I stress the importance of getting bags that have multiple colors or features or, you know, just that's a little bit more versatile. I'll probably get my cost per wear on this bag before the end of the month at the rate I'm going. It's just so easy. It takes everything. Um, I do the breakdown so I share what fits inside the bag in that haul. But like just to be a bit more organized, I got this like clear case so I could put like sunscreen and like lotion and just things that a, a female might need, pads and all that stuff. Snacks in there, my keys are in there. I got files in here. It's, it's a great bag. It's a great bag. I even got my hand sanitizer at the back. I love this bag. It's just absolutely beautiful easy to carry, lightweight. I go over all the details of the Dior Book Tote in that series, so I'm just gonna kind of share the bags with you guys, and you know, I encourage you guys to watch the series if you're considering getting this bag or getting any of these embroidery Dior Book Tote bags because they're just absolutely stunning. Um, it's funny, the more you do research about a bag, the more you really, you know, are convinced that I made a good choice, and doing the research on the Book Totes in general, especially considering this one was new. And the one that I have, the bigger one, which I'll share with you guys in a minute, is in leather. So getting one in fabric with the embroidery, I was so happy I did because I got to read about the, you know, what went into making the bag and all that fun stuff. So make sure you guys check out the, um, that video. But would I get this bag again? Absolutely, 100%. It is absolutely stunning. It is extremely versatile. It elevates anything you wear it with. Of course, it's fabric, so that means it's, you know, it's more susceptible to dirt and stain and whatnot. But because you've got... The embroidery and because you've got the detail it will mask that a little quicker like it'll mask dirt and scratches and whatnot but of course I want to be mindful with this bag because I love this bag and I really want to make sure I use it so in order to do that I just have to you know treat it well so I'm gonna treat it well I'm not gonna overstuff it that's the goal I'm gonna get an organizer for it so that way I don't have any drooping on the bottom but it's just a gorgeous gorgeous bag for this season and honestly I'm gonna carry this into the fall as well so absolutely adore it yay next we have the Dior book tote in leather um, I got this bag in 2019 in Paris 
I love the bag. Like I said, I really go into the Dior book tote in my Breaking Down the Bag series. I just added the scarf to it because I like adding scarves to my bags, especially my travel bags. This is the perfect travel or work bag. I am obsessed with the Dior book tote. I've sworn by this bag for years now. Every time I do a bag haul, I talk about this bag. Um, when I did my Dior collection, I talked about this bag. In the breakdown, the, in breaking down the bag video, I go over this bag and why I love this bag. Even when I was breaking down the Fendi Sunshine Toe, I talked about how much I love this bag and why this is always going to be my number one pick in terms of a travel bag. So make sure you guys watch that um, video so you just kind of get the gist of it and you know where I'm coming from with this bag. But it's just an absolutely beautiful bag with the embossed oblique detail. Um, you have the exposed workmanship so there's no stitches so there's no lining it's nice and lightweight considering it is still a heavier bag because it's structured and it's thick and it's you know it's thick but it is considerably lighter weight because you don't have that extra lining and it's also slightly waterproof there's just so many great functions and features of this bag that make it a great bag and i'm here for it i love it um one of my absolute favorite bags love on to the next so I'm trying my best to put bags back as I'm doing this so I don't have to like have a pile but they're falling on me so hopefully no bags fall on me while I'm doing this. <laughs> Anywho, next up we've got this little bitty. I always wanted a fun little dinner bag and I've been eyeing a few and um, when Gucci like relaunched their 1947 little bamboo bag. I was just like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And I love the black on black. Like they have other color options that I just felt weren't for me because you had that brand, the brand, the brown bamboo handle with the colors. Um, and I just didn't like that. I, I just thought it would have looked better if it was like a uniform with one color. Um, and they did that with the black and it's just, it's stunning. It's stunning. I actually kind of forgot that I had this bag because it's on top and it's like, hit, behind something so I definitely need to use it more it's just an absolutely stunning bag well priced in my opinion well made it comes with um, the Gucci green and red strap it also comes with a simple black strap which I love easy bag it doesn't take a lot it's to in my opinion it's a great dinner bag or if you are on a day event and you don't want to carry a lot it's also a great option but I'm just obsessed with the bag it's so beautiful so well made doesn't take a lot. It, I can't fit my phone in there. It's in a smooth calf box. So, you know, it'll show a little bit of scratches. So if you're one that you're so particular, you're like, oh, I have to get my phone in my bag or I don't like to see scratches, then maybe the smooth leather is not for you. But if you're like me and you just want a great bag that looks absolutely amazing with your outfits, then this is just, it's so fun. It goes over the wrist. You can wear it as a crossbody. You can wear it as the top handle. I love it. I love it. It's a fabulous bag. Can't wait to wear it again. All right, on to the next. Okay, it got really dark outside all of a sudden, so I had to put on some artificial lights. But yes, you guys can see me. So, but next up we have the Louis Vuitton Capucine Mini. I love this bag. <laughs> this was one, I, I feel like my purchases are by fluke. Um, I got this one, I think, last year. So I think I've shared this one with you guys in the previous um, handbag video. If you haven't seen that one, make sure you guys check it out so you can see the evolution of my collection. Um, but this one, I saw this one because one of my girlfriends sent me this. I think she watched a YouTube video and she's like, oh my God, I saw this bag, I love the bag, I want the bag. She's my partner in crime. So I went with her looking for this bag. They didn't have the bag. She ended up falling in love with the red, um, BB size, I think it is. I can't remember, but just another capucine in red, and it was stunning. So I was just like, you know, I'll get it eventually. Every time I would go to Louis Vuitton, they didn't have it. Like, they were just like, no, it's gone. Sorry. So like six months later, randomly just going through sacks. And let me just tell you something about me. I don't like lining up for luxury. You guys that have been rocking with me for the last two years, you know this. I feel like it takes away from the experience. There's nothing that you, you can't pay me to line up to buy something at this price point. I'd rather not buy it. But because <laughs> I got a little bit of the hookup and I have a really good essay. That's why I say if you find someone that you click with when it comes to luxury, just stick with that person and they'll make your experience a lot easier. So because whenever I go shopping, I call my essay, who's actually my girlfriend, so, but I call her, I let her know I'm coming. We don't stay in line you know, and we just look and then we're out. So we're not taking from anybody else and it's just, it just makes, for me, the experience better. 
Um, if you need the connect, just let me know. Message me and I'll send you her details. She's awesome. But anywho, when we went to Saks, there was a line, a long line outside of Louis Vuitton. I went there, I think, to buy something else or to pick up something else. And there was a long line, so I didn't even look that way. But on the way back, not one person was in line. My girlfriend, who's my essay, wasn't at, wasn't working that day either. I went with another friend and nobody was like, literally the line was clear. And all of a sudden my girlfriend's like, that's the bag you wanted. And this beauty was just sitting there all in its glory, just literally sitting on the shelf. And I was just like, are you kidding me? And I think I literally had just bought a bag. I returned the other bag so I could get this one because I had been waiting and no one had it. And I didn't pick, I didn't actually, I bought this one and I bought the second one and I left both. I was just like, I'm going to come back. I'm going to sleep on it and see which one speaks to me so I should pick one because I wasn't going to buy two bags. Not at this price point especially. So when I came back, it was this one of course. And the manager who I know, she was just like, honestly, it was such a fluke they just got it in from Paris or something and yeah that it was meant to be and yeah that's how I have this bag I love the bag I love the detail I love the iron snake detail it is just a gorgeous bag I love white bags I love them I know they're not the most practical but they're just beautiful to me and they are works of art the pebble grain finish is amazing especially if you're going to get a white bag I know I have the bobby but the bobby is in that cat it's just really easy to clean and I'm also good with bags in general but Having something with the pebble grain finish is always good because it, it does a good job of masking dirt and just makes it always look good. So I'm obsessed with the bag. I'm so happy I got it. I already said that whole long story to you guys. Um, but yeah, that's how I got this bag and it's one of my favorites. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. I think Louis Vuitton also has started doing all the price increases so the price went up on this. I don't remember how much I got it. Um, I just know I was like scrolling through briefly yesterday and I saw that they were like way over 6000 and I know when I got this it was almost just probably teetering on five or if it was just right over five so yeah there's definitely a price increase now but they're gorgeous bags i love them it has its own strap let me show you guys the strap real quick before i go to the next one it's got its own little thick strap um you've got this little fun detail on the outside this little button detail you guys can see that and then the louis vuitton and framed with the iron snake um on the inside there are two compartments leather lined Slit, one slit pocket on the side there if you guys can see that this little loop is for this to kind of go in so it stays nice and tucked and it's just a beautiful bag absolutely stunning exceptionally made and I love it on to the next next we've got Valentino and I'm sharing this beautiful Valentino rock stud uh, I actually got this on sale my girlfriend was like they're having a sale and she sent me the link and I found this one. And at first I was just like, ah, but I think it was like 40% off. And I'm so happy I got it because it's like my casual, cool black bag. But at the same time, I could take this to dinner. I have so many other options. So I'm like, I don't know if I would take it to get dinner as opposed to just wearing it as an everyday bag. But it's so cute and fun. I love it. I love the hardware on it. I love the fact that the strap is long enough to wear it has a crossbody. It's just a really fun bag. Um, it actually doesn't take a lot. Even though you would think it should take a lot with the wider opening. Well, it's actually not wide. That's why it looks wide from the outside, but the opening is not so wide. So I can't even fit my phone in there. I've tried. Or no, I take that back. I can't fit my phone in there. Why did I think I couldn't? Hmm. So I got my phone in there and there's still a whole bunch of stuff in there because you guys know I use my bags. But yeah, the phone goes in there. My wallet will fit in there. I think why I felt like it wasn't, it couldn't take a lot because I couldn't fit my phone, my wallet, and my vlogging camera. If a bag doesn't fit my vlogging camera, that's a problem. But um, yeah, the average person doesn't carry a vlogging camera. But it's a fun bag. It's really great. It's a nice black on black bag. Um, because you've got that crinkled leather, it really masks like you know any kind of scuffs and whatnot. So it still looks brand new, and I've had it for a while, and I've actually used this quite a um, quite a few times. So it's a great bag. Love the top handle option. Love the strap handle. Okay, on to the next. Next from Valentina, we've got this one stud little bitty that I just picked up when I was in Toronto um, for Mother's Day. I had to do a Mother's Day shoot for a brand. So my mom's in Toronto right now. So I flew to Toronto to shoot with her. Um, and I just, I love the, I love the bag. I got the bag and the shoes because I just thought it would be so much fun. I think I got, well, I got both because of the other. I have these shoes in um, beige and I find that they're just so versatile. I wear them all the time. So I was like, why not get the bag? Like, it's so cute. It doesn't take anything. 
Have I used it? No. Have I used it? No, I haven't actually. I, it's still new because Mother's Day was just like last month or so. But it's a fun little bag. It doesn't take much. It takes the cards. These are the cards for the bag. So it has two little um, pouches or sections. Um, and the cards were on one side. And I'm sure I can get my little wallet. Let me see if I can get my little wallet in this. I don't think I ever like did a like a breakdown or anything. Nope, I can't. So when I'm going out with this, I literally have to take my key, my um, keys off and put my cards in there because this wallet will not fit in there. Clearly it's bigger. It's probably the size of the bag. But yeah, it's just a fun bag. This is the type of bag that I will carry with another bag. So for me, this bag is almost like jewelry, if that makes sense. And I do that a lot with my micro bags. You know, I wear them with other bags because it's just nothing's going to fit in here. Or if I'm like going to a club or something, well, <laughs> I don't know the last time I went to a club, so let me rephrase that. If I was going out maybe to dinner or somewhere, my husband's or other people are there, and I just want to be able to put my, my driver's license or whatever, why not, you know? It looks, it looks great with everything. I styled this bag in hauls. I haven't worn it out yet, just yet. I have a few trips coming up and outfits planned, but just with my hauls and stuff, like, it's so good like it looks good with so many different things like I've done like the shorts um jumpsuits I am, I'm obsessed with this bag oh there is another one that comes in pink and I wore both of them together and it looks so good so I'm kind of tempted to get another color and kind of wear them together we'll see it's, it's really just it's more of a fashion piece it's like jewelry bag jewelry for me if that makes sense but I love it it's a fun bag super cool not well it's a small bag but the price point is still you know it's not the end of the world price point but it, it's still valentino so you're paying valentino prices but it's just such a fun piece to have and I, i'm obsessed on to the next all right so now we're going into fendi i think i have like eight fendi bags here and they're all fairly well not all of them are fairly new but for the most part um clearly if you guys have been rocking with me or if you're following me on instagram you know i am obsessed with fendi I've been obsessed with Fendi for a minute, but I really didn't start collecting Fendi till early 2020. Like it started, I literally, I have a, um, I have a TikTok video. It all started with, with one. And it, for me, it started with the Fendi sunshine toe. And then I just became obsessed. And now every time Derek comes up with something amazing and I'm just like, snap, I have to, as I've told him, I was like, don't call me, lose my number for now. Maybe later on in the year, you can call me for another bag because it's just been back to back. And I just love what they're doing. I love the workmanship. I love the fact that their price points are so much more reasonable. Um, yeah, so I'm a fan of Fendi. Fendi's just been taking my money. And yeah, I'm, I'm trying to put a pause on it for now, but I'm sure a new Fendi bag will be coming soon because they're telling me that I can actually have a custom baguette. <laughs> and that just sounds so good to have. So we'll see. Anyway, first up for my Fendi bags, the Fendi first. This is a bag that I love when when they sent me the line sheets that this bag was coming out I just I knew like I was like okay yeah that bag is mine you know so when they got their first batch of course um Derek hooked me up this was the bag that I got it looks immaculate it still looks brand new and I have used this bag um obviously now I have more of these bags so it's kind of hard to use the same thing over and over again when you have options that's why I don't like too many options because I feel like it confuses you but anywho love the Fendi first I did a breakdown of the Fendi first it was the first bag that I featured on my breaking down the bag series because it's probably one of the bags that I love the most in terms of the workmanship in terms of the detail the price point um, I know when I got mine, it was like that first batch. I think I got it for like 28 or 25. I got it pretty low, whatever they, the starting price was. And I go over the prices and everything in that video. So um, if you guys want to know how much it was and how much it's now, just check out that video. But just the details, the workmanship, you can have it has a clutch, you can have the straps, you've got the hardware on the inside, you've got the quick like snaps that just turn and then you can, you know, put the straps on the inside or you can take the straps off. It has the Zuka print on the inside, which allows you to see what's inside of the bag. It is just an absolutely stunning, well-made bag. It's just a stunning bag. I love it, love it, love it. I would highly recommend everyone get a Fendi first. It sits so well under the shoulder. It's just a fun, it's an amazing bag. Absolutely stunning. Um, let me keep on going because I've got a few of these now. <laughs> on to the next. Isn't she lovely? Ah, oh, this bag is just 
everything. Um, and I was just, we were telling someone the story of this bag again, where I, you know, they offered me the bag. I actually bought the bag before I saw the bag because I saw the images of the bag and I was just like, oh my God, it's gorgeous. I, I need it. And I normally, prior, I had the rule of not duplicating bags. Um, but when I saw this one, I was like, okay, rule out the window. Mind you, this was the, this is the medium size. So I was just like, technically it's not the same bag. But um, when I went into the store prior to receiving the bag, I saw the leather version, which I did not like at all. In my opinion, the leather looked cheap um, and it just wasn't doing anything for me. So I actually didn't like it. So I told them to return my money because I'm like, if it looks anything like that, I don't want it, you know. And I noticed, I think I was getting ready for my call with my accountant and I was like, wait a second. They haven't returned the money yet. And so I had to call, like, you know, I had to call Layla. I was like, girl, what's going on? And she's like, are you sure? Even Derek was like, are you sure? Come and see the bag first because they know me. And I was just like, no, I want my money. Return it. <laughs> so they returned it. And then I go into the store the next day. I, I don't even know why. And then I see this on the shelf. And I was like, what the hell is that? I shouldn't be cussing. Um, apparently hell is a, a curse word or profanity. <laughs> I would, I would ignore that. But anywho, I saw the bag. I was just like, are you kidding me? They're like, yeah, that's the one you returned. I was like, lies. They're like, yeah. So of course I bought it right back on the spot. And I'm so happy I did. Um, I've gotten 101 different compliments with this bag. I was in New York for Fashion Week and someone was like, you have to be Monica because that's her bag. And I was like, it's me. Uh, it's just, it's everything. I love this bag. It does not come with this strap. I bought the strap separately um, because it just looks great with the bag and it looks great with my baguettes and any of my other Fendi bags. But I just kind of like, you know, I thought it was a fun little addition to the bag. It's in velvet and suede. All the same features as the medium. I break down this bag in that breaking down the bag series. Um, the inside of this is lined with leather and not the... Uh, Zuka, um, is it a Zuka? No. <laughs> Not with the Zuka print. I said the Zuka print. And Zuka is a Nigerian name. But anywho, of course, I've got stuff in there. I've got some lip glosses and stuff because we use my we use the bags. The strap on this is a little thicker. You can't wear it as a crossbody. You can only wear it as a shoulder bag. It is an absolutely stunning bag. It fits so comfortably. This bag is not as structured because of the the material. It's in suede, so it's not as structured as the leather. Um, this just kind of bounces back. Right now, I don't have any stuffing in it. Usually, I do, but just look how comfortable it is. Like. Every time I've worn this bag, I get so many compliments. Everybody's like, where did you get that from? It's just a work of art. Like the artist in me, when I saw this, I was just like, it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. One of my absolute favorite pieces. I think it's sold out across the board. But if you ever come across one of these, I say get it because you can wear it with everything. Every color that's here, which is pretty much every color under the rainbow, works with this bag. You can wear it all year round. I think I... I wore this during Fashion Week. I got so many pictures, like in literally every major publication with this bag in my yellow Zara suit. So like this bag's just been like everything to me. I love it. Would I buy it again? 100%. If I could find it, I'd buy it again. I would suggest everybody buy it if you want a fabulous bag. Look how good it lives. It's just so good. Anywho, on to the next. Okay, next up we have another bag, non-bag. <laughs> The Fendi Nano in the na the Fendi P Fendi first in the Nano. I've eaten, so there's really no reason for me to be tongue tied, but I guess it just happens in general. But anywho, ignore that. I love this. It's it's a bag, but it's not a bag. It only takes money. It doesn't even take cards, unfortunately. Um, and it's a great charm as well. So if I wanted to put this on like my peekaboo or whatnot, I you know you just have that little clip. Um, this is really just for fun. It's just a fun piece. I wear it kind of as jewelry. You've got the straps that are adjustable so you can make them long, you can make them short. And I just throw it on. I just feel like it's such a good bag. It's so fun. I've worn it a ton of different ways. I've worn it with other bags because it's, like I said, this is just jewelry as far as I'm concerned. So I'm wearing this, I'm carrying my baguette, I'm carrying another clutch, I'm carrying, you know, whatever bag with it. It's just a fun bag to have and I got it because of the color I've been on the hunt for a chocolate brown bag for a while and I didn't want to get the Fendi first regular size because I had that already so I figured you know what? why not just do this it's fun it's interesting and I'm so happy I did because I love it and I get tons of compliments whenever I wear it so one of my favorite bags even though it's just a teeny bitty little thingy and it doesn't take much but I love it anyways yay okay so next up from Fendi we've got the Fendi Peekaboo, I see you. 
I love this bag. <laughs> um, it's such a fun bag. I feel like peekaboos are classic in general. I love a good top handle bag and this one is no exception. I was on the hunt for just the classic black bag. And I think it was between, at the time it was between this and the Chanel 19 in leather. I go over why I didn't like the Chanel 19 prior. I think now they're only doing it in, if I'm correct, it's in calf, either calf skin or lamb skin. Before they also had goat skin, if I'm correct. And there just, there was a look to it. Either it was goat skin or the particular skin that they were using just reminisced to me of pig skin and I didn't like the way it looked. So, but I still love the 19 for the fact that it had the mixed metal and the, the it was edgy and you know, it was kind of like a deconstructed version of the classic. So I loved it seeing it for the first time, but this was just, in my opinion, a little bit more ladylike. And then Derek put the Fendi strap on it, which kind of sold, sold me, like it sealed the deal because I felt like the strap just made it a little bit more contemporary. Um, and I love this bag. I've recommended this bag to uh, quite a few of my friends. They love it just as much as I do. This bag, even though it is very ladylike, it's very chic, it's also very versatile. So you can dress it up, you can dress it down. It always does a great job of elevating your look. So even if you have a casual outfit and you carry this, it will instantly elevate your look. So I am a huge fan. It's in the smooth calf, calf skin leather. Um, I There's really no scuffs on it because I've used it quite a few. And so it's wearing really well, right? It's beautiful bag. I've, I'm, I'm going to do the breakdown of the Peekaboo soon, so stay tuned for that. But just real quick, some of the features that I love about this bag, it's got the pink lining. Ignore all the um, letters and stuff that I have in there because, yeah, I use my bags. It has the strap. It has its own raincoat. I thought that was the coolest thing. All the Peekaboos have, like, a raincoat. So if you're ever stuck in the rain, you just bring out your little... Fendi raincoat and it protects the bag from the rain, which I thought was exceptional. I need to take all these receipts out. I'm like, I don't know where all the receipts came from. But anywho, I love my Fendi Peekaboo. I see you East West. It's just an absolutely beautiful bag wearing exceptionally well. It just elevates. It's so chic. I love it. On to the next. Okay, so this baby, I just introduced this to you guys not too long ago. Unfortunately, the color seems a little bit more saturated than what it is because it's a very vibrant orange and I am obsessed with it. This was my first orange bag. I don't really consider the Fendi first to be orange because it's a mixture of different colors, but this is their Petite Peekaboo. Um, I see you and it's just stunning. It actually takes a lot of stuff considering like I could get a lot in there. So I got my vlogging camera, my um, wallet, I think, I can't remember what else I got in here, like sunglasses. So it actually takes a lot more than you would think. It does come with its own strap. Um, this particular one has the silver hardware. I know they come out with a, diff a variety of colors. If I'm correct, Derek said this sold out a while ago. Um, he actually got this for me from Miami when he was in Miami. So he got it from their Miami store and brought it over. And it's got all the same features, the two compartments, slip pockets, leather lined, absolutely beautiful bag it has its own raincoat i love it i love it i started i've styled this a few ways and i think i styled it in the outfit of the day series already and then i styled it in some of my um outfit hauls so check it out for more inspiration on how to rock this but like i said you'll be surprised how much can fit in here um and i'll go over all, all of that more in detail for the breaking down the bag but absolutely beautiful bag it's got its feet um, it's still very new for me because it's got I still have stickers on them Actually, I even have stickers on the bags that are two years old. I just always forget to do this I think next time I'll have them take the stickers off, but the feet are really cute It's just a beautiful bag very well mailed very well ma <laughs> Very well made and it just looks great great pop of color. Love it next from Fendi. We've got this beauty Oh, She's so pretty I ordered this like I had to pre-order it um months ago and then he you know it finally came in and i was just like obsessed with it obsessed i've always wanted a baguette i've always wanted a sequence baguette but i didn't know what color i wanted so at first derek was like get the pink but i have a few pink bags so i really didn't want another pink bag um but then he showed me this one i saw the line sheet for this and i was just like it's stunning it's got the rose gold it's got 
your yellow gold it's got a little bit of silver it's just so versatile and I don't have anything like this I don't have any metallic bags in general and I love having this because I can wear this with everything with anything all year round it is the perfect dinner bag it's a fun little shoulder bag I don't usually carry my bags as a shoulder bag but I don't mind this one um, you can also carry it this way or you can just carry it has a clutch which I prefer uh, the strap actually kind of does a little twisty thing, which I kind of went over with you guys when I um, shared the bag within a luxury haul. And it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. Like, I love this look. But at the same time, too, I've taken that chain strap that I have that you guys saw on the Fendi first. And I've completely taken this one off and used that one just to give it a different look. But I just, I love this. I just feel like it's so cool. I especially love carrying it this way. And then it just houses my, my arm, my hand is right there. So it's just a fun bag. It looks great. And it's, you know, pretty, like, flexible. So you can put a lot of stuff in there. And it just looks great. It instantly elevates whatever you pair it with. I love. Um, I don't, I think these have sold out. I think they've sold out. But I know there's the option of creating your own unique baguette. Which I might, I might, re I might visit that. And if I do, I'll, I'll bring you guys along. Because I think I have to go to Miami to do that. But I'm not sure if I want to do that <laughs> yet. Because I still want to get my Kelly. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll bring you guys along. Just make sure you follow the vlogs. But anywho, love the baguettes. Um, easy to open, snap feature. I have just some tissue in there. Pretty spacious. You've got the fabric lining, leather trim around the zipper. It's just a great everyday, even, not everyday, but well, actually, no, I've worn this for just like regular day stuff. But for the most part, I feel like it's a great dinner bag. Yeah. On to the next. All right, next we have this Fendi Sunshine Tote, my happy bag in this nano mini size that I absolutely love. Um, it was the art by Antonio that just kind of like drew me in. I'm like, there's a black girl on the bag. And I won't lie, that was, you know, that was kind of like it for me. When I, I think I saw the line sheets of this at first, I can't remember. But when I saw it, no, they sent me the line sheet and I was just like, okay. I need something from this collection, um, and I wanted to make sure that I got a piece that I that I was actually using on a regular basis. The medium size sunshine tote is, in my opinion, is just too big for every day, just for me because I have I, I prefer using smaller bags because I I try not to carry as much. Um, so this one I was just like, you know what? This is such a good size that I can still fit my cell phone in here. And I share what fits in here in my breakdown of the bag. My cell phone fits, my keys. I actually was able to get quite a few things in here. So I was just like, you know what, this is it. So I, I carry this during Fashion Week as well. And I wore it with like, I think another like micro bag. But it's just a great bag. Like the colors on it just make it so versatile. I can wear it with everything. It's a good bum around bag. It's just a gorgeous bag. It looks absolutely amazing and I'm here for it. I love it. I absolutely adore the Fendi Sunshine Tote to begin with, but just to have this piece, to me it's a collector's item. I'm never getting rid of this bag. It's always just gonna sit here on my shelf and I love it. I'm gonna wear the hell out of it, which I've already started wearing it a lot. I got it in February, so I've worn it quite a few times. I've styled it many different ways and it's just a happy bag for me. Now let's get to the last one. All right, y'all, last but not least, my happy bag, my Fendi Sunshine Toe. I love this bag. You guys know how I feel about this bag. This was the one that started everything. I got this um, right before the pandemic. I had a trip. I had a tropical trip coming, and I got this because I was just like, oh, this is going to be the perfect travel bag. So I got it, and of course, then coronavirus came in, and I never went on that trip. But I have the bag. I love the bag. I've used this bag. It's a great bag when I'm going into a store and I have a whole bunch of stuff and I don't want to have all these different bags. I can throw stuff in there because it takes everything in the kitchen sink. Um, it's also a great travel bag, even though I prefer traveling with my Dior Book Tote. This one is really fun because I feel like this is that bag that I take when I'm going to tropical destinations. Maybe I'm going to the beach or by the pool and I can just put a whole bunch of stuff in there. Of course, nothing that's going to ruin the inside. Um, but yeah, it's fun. When I went to Miami, I kind of put it, put it on the sand and it was fine. Um, of course, I wouldn't put it like beside the water because I don't want to ruin the bag. But I just love the bag. And even when I've carried it during the day, you know, I'll add like a nice little scarf. I've got this beautiful Hermes scarf on it. 
and just let it hang and it's just a beautiful bag to me i love it when i originally got my sunshine tote this was the only color available now it comes in every color under the sun and i love that that just shows that the brand believes in this bag it's done very well for them and it will continue to do well for them and i'm just so happy i got it so yep yeah, that's it for this bag um if you want anything any more details or information about the bag please check out my breaking down the bag video my my <laughs> my battery has like well not battery but um my um my card has like indicated that okay you've gone over 30 minutes twice now so i'm gonna stop because we don't want this video to be too long and i can go on and on and on about all these bags because i truly love everything that's on my shelf of course i wasn't able to share everything or break down everything because it would just be too long i'm trying to make sure this video is less than an hour <laughs> um i will give a honorary mention to some of my bags that didn't make the cut so i'll just have them scroll through <laughs> bags too and I still have a few more but um as I was saying you know any bag that I purchase at least for me I have to have a love I have to have something about the bag that just moves me you know um, it's so easy to want to just add and keep on adding because there's so many great pieces out there and that's kind of why I had the rule of not buying the same silhouette um, and maybe a different color or whatnot just because there's so much out there to you know to buy but you know every now and then you do come across a, a, a bag in the similar silhouette or the same silhouette but just is just totally different and you're you know even i have been like okay i just i have to have it but i love all my bags i strongly recommend if you're going to add a luxury bag to your collection make sure it moves you make sure you absolutely love it don't buy it because all the influencers are carrying it or because that person has it or someone else told you you should buy it because it truly moves you and you love it so you can wear it and you can you know get your cost per wear but yes i love all these bags let me know which bag was your favorite let me know which bag bags or bag you own or if you're thinking about getting let's get that conversation going in the comment section because I love especially with these bag videos you guys know this is a joy for me so I love to know what everyone is looking at what bags are you thinking about adding to your list or to your wish list um let's get that conversation going thank you so much for watching this video guys you know how much I appreciate you all um thank you for following or subscribing rather if you have not subscribed yet guys and if you've been rocking with me for the last two years and you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for like this channel is pretty cool like we have fun here this is a guilt-free we love fashion we indulge we love good vibes good vibes only channel so subscribe let's grow <laughs> and thank you to everyone who has subscribed you know how much i appreciate you guys thank you thank you thank you um don't forget to follow me on instagram if you need style inspo in between my hauls, if you want to see what bag I'm eyeing or some of the cool events that I go to as a fashion and lifestyle content creator, just follow me on Instagram because I'm sharing everything there. I try to share everything in real time. Most of my collaborations are on Instagram as well, so you can see some of the cool brands that I've worked with and continue to work with. This is year 10 for me, yay! Um, and my anniversary is coming up. It's coming up in November, so you know, stay tuned for all the festivities for that because it's going to be fun. Um, yeah, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's Odd by Money on Instagram as well as TikTok, Odd by Money on both platforms. Also, don't hesitate to check out my website. It's oddbymonica.com for tons of style inspo, shopping links for everything. I do have shopping links for any of the bags that you can actually buy will be in the description box. I know a lot of them are just like in-store purchases or so, a lot of the stuff you can't get online. I know the Chanel stuff you can't get online, but you know, I'll link whatever I can find for you guys. But you know, if you need shopping links for anything, it's usually on my website. Plus there's tons of style inspo, especially on the What Would Monty Wear page, what to wear to lunch, brunch, hanging out with friends, going to the movies. It's all there in one place, including YouTube shopping. So just check it out, have fun. Check out outbymonica.com. Indulge me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Stay tuned for the next one at the end of the year. We'll see what else I add to this collection by the end of the year. I'm trying to be good because I, I did a lot this year and it's just halfway through the year and I, I did do a lot. So I'm going to see if I can, you know, just be calm and chill because I have nowhere to put anything and I, I, I don't have nowhere to put it. So yeah, we'll see. Anywho, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye, guys.